What's up everybody, this is Bubba TV 24 and today I'm back in Roblox with Magnet Simulator. Now I've been playing this a bit on and off over the past few days, just kind of doing some things. I thought I would play the game on the channel, but I didn't want to be starting from the beginning. I wanted to show you guys some late game stuff and here I am. I'm pretty high up there. Um, you start with one little dinky magnet and then you have to grow from there. And what I have done is I have gotten all the way up to this beautiful blue magnet and I have this awesome backpack and I am full of mythical, mythical pets. Now, I guess that will give you a little tutorial or tips on how to get to where I'm at right now because I have a lot of money and I gain money very quickly and this game seems to be updating relatively often. They just added in the ability to do rebirthing and rebirthing what it does is it lets you start over but you get yourself a multiplier on how many coins that you can I guess you get. Uh, if we take a look here, it says rebirthing will make you lose all progress except for pets, but you will gain a times one money multiplier and rebirth tokens depending on how much cash you have. So we need like a hundred million to get there and it gives you rebirth tokens when you get there. So you want to have as much money as possible, it seems, before you do the rebirthing. So I'm going to go ahead and sell. I have 97 million. Now what I'm going to do is show you pretty much how to get there it's gonna it looks like it's gonna pretty much restart me from zero so we might as well do it and i'll show you kind of how i got to where i'm at now uh fairly quickly now it will take about an hour or two to actually get anywhere because this isn't one of those things where it's um it's just gonna happen instantly um, luckily I will still have my mythical pet so this will go a lot faster with uh, with luck but my number one tip for this is do not ignore your pets whatsoever uh, there are chickens in this game as well if you come over here you get these chickens now my chickens are pretty high level and they will collect money and they basically give you this money, uh, Just they just generate it and you can upgrade it to make more and more money. Um, what I would say is that the chickens, at least in my opinion, do not seem to be worth it. Eh, really, not all that much in terms of uh, actually making you money. It takes, it's, you know, it's just going to be easier in the long run to collect and fill up your backpack full of coins because... The chickens cost way too much money to invest into them for the re the little return that you get out of it. It's not really worth it in the end to go for the chickens. So what I would say is this. Take all of the money that you think that you would want to spend on the chickens and put it into getting pets. Even if you start off just getting your basic pet, that is good enough because your basic pets cost about 800 uh, coins at least. I believe that's what the number is. We'll check here in a second. But they will give you super boost to collection. Yeah, it's 800, but you'll get super boost to collections. And if I just look here at the basic pets here, it is like a, is it like a common egg is gray. So if we look at the pet here, starting with the panda, that gives you two coins, but it also gives you a speed boost of two. Koala is the same way, and so is the basic bear. But if you have these all selected, you can have five things up at once. So they could all be bears, they could all be pandas, koalas, whatever. But you'll be getting a plus six speed boost and plus six to coins. And that means you'll be getting six coins per one physical coin in the world. Now the pets that I have now are uh, the Magnetite Wolf, which is 150 and then also get a money multiplier of times two. And so what you, you really wanna do is go for the pets first because they're the things that are gonna help you make money faster. And then you wanna also upgrade your magnet and your backpack and that sort of thing uh, before you do really anything else. Um, like I said, ignore the chickens, go straight for the pets and make sure that you go and upgrade your pets as you start making more and more money. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I'm going to probably go through and rebirth and I'll show you guys what that's like because I've actually never done it before. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to fill up my backpack one more time because the backpack, I mean, I want to try and get as much money as possible and I want to put that money uh, into the rebirthing and see if I can't get 
um, some awesome rebirth tokens out of it so as you can see here these areas right here you have to unlock so I'm just running in and getting stuff from them but you do have to unlock them and uh, that costs money to do so as well and you kind of have to decide whether or not you want that you know you want to do that but the thing is the faster you become the faster you collect these coins and so you have to have these areas unlocked to really oh i sorry my uh my facebook just uh popped i'll have to shut that off the faster that you are moving the more you're going to drain these areas of their coins so as you can see here the coins are already drained the coins do respawn quickly but it is it is just faster when you're this quick to just run to the next area and start collecting coins and then leave and go back to the different areas and just make the rounds until you're full because that way you're constantly gathering coins you're not really breaking from the coin gathering process and that means that you will be constantly making money filling up your backpack and then taking that money and buying the next thing now they did add in a prestige shop or a a rebirth shop as well so you can take your rebirth coins you can sell them or you can b use them to buy uh, new products that they've put in there uh, new uh, looks like new magnets that look like they're really good um, but as you can see here I'm getting 3,000 coins from the main area there that's just from my uh, my pets being high level um, but I'm also getting 6,500 to 8,000 coins in that area. So each area here does give you more coins depending on how much money it costs to get into it. And the last area is that ice area over there. Costs 40 million coins. But when you're right here and you're making 96 million a pop, boom, easy peasy. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and do a rebirth level. And that's going to give me 16 of these uh, coins or these tokens here. Can I actually get anything for 16 tokens? That I don't know. What's in this shop here? So 150 is the first one. I'll tell you what. I'll go ahead. I'm going to go through and get 150 coins because that just seems like, nah, you know what? I'm not going to spend the time to do that just yet. Maybe, uh, maybe in a little bit, but I'll tell you what. Uh, we'll go ahead and sell that off. And let's go ahead and do a rebirth here boom rebirth oh the game kind of lagged out there uh my mouse isn't moving i think i broke it okay looks like uh i am back to my dinky little thing i do have my pets so one two i do have that i do have my one two crystal fox i also have my spirit bear now i do have my rusty magnet the chickens look like they have absolutely reset so we're gonna go ahead and collect my one dollar from these guys so they can only hold one dollar so we're gonna go ahead and, oh i can't actually do anything because they 400 upgrade i forgot okay anyway so as you can see i've still got my speed uh but my magnet is very very low so 720 now this is the benefit to rebirthing you will make a lot of money very quickly um and i should be able to actually get back to my uh former self fairly quickly so that is what we're gonna do so i am gonna go ahead and buy i'll wait to get the three to three thousand then i'll get the three thousand dollar backpack but because my pets are so good they're gonna they're gonna help me get back up here quickly now normally those would only be worth one they'd only be worth one token and then of course you know as um here we go so as you can see they're worth like eight to nine hundred there we go we can sell boom Hundred forty-four thousand. let's buy a new magnet Uh, right here this one right here so that is going to be the benefit of rebirthing so i highly recommend when you do rebirth that you have mythical creatures mythical pets so you can actually get back into this as it is like i said what you won't need to worry about the chickens the chickens are whatever and it looks like i also get to keep my um 
areas over here without having to worry about that too much. So let's go over here. A million? No, we'll buy the 200,000 one. There we go. This honestly shouldn't take too long to, uh, to fill up just because of the whole backpack awesomeness thing. It looks like I'm also going to be selling for uh, two times, I guess, is how much I'll be making out of each coin. We'll go ahead and sell. Boom. Here we go. I already got 8 million, guys. Look at that. And uh, what I'm going to go through and do now is buy a better magnet. So let's just skip all the way to the million times area seven here we go there we go got the magnetite magnet we are really raking in the money guys boom look how fast that's going up buy a new backpack see i'll be back to my old self in no time boom we're already really high up there and uh, before you know it, I will have everything that I need. So this is sort of the benefit once you get to higher level and you're able to do this, uh, of doing this. But like I said, I highly recommend going through and make sure that if you are going to do this, that you have mythical creatures or mythical pets. I always say creatures for some reason. Mythical pets with you. That way, you don't have to worry about really starting over from one again. Because starting from one... That would be rough. Now it will take a little while to get to where I'm at. I'm not, I did not just get here in like an instant. It did take a little bit of time, maybe about an hour or two to really unlock everything that is uh, really good. And you'll know when it's time to upgrade your backpack to something better because, well, you'll get to the point where you start just instantly filling it up when you, uh, when you walk out of an area. And that's when you really want to upgrade it because that means that you will need the extra space for more coins because these magnets do get really good. So I'm already making millions and millions of dollars. Um, I'm almost to the point now I could just do another rebirth, but I'm not going to do that. Um, what is it, this one? Yeah, I'll just go up here to the 70 million one. This is about where I was last time. So yeah, this is where I was before... Um, <laughs> before I started this video actually so that's pretty much where we're at with rebirths um, I'm killing it and uh, you know I'm gonna keep pushing forward we're gonna see how many rebirths I can actually get it's just gonna be awesome what I would love to do is be able to get enough tokens to buy something from the rebirth shop because that's kind of where I need to be and uh, I can get some really cool stuff there but I'll show you what's in there real quick so we got some really good magnets here, range seven times multiplier. So you're looking at big multipliers. And then you've got these ones here, 105 range, but huge multipliers. You need 500,000 prestige tokens for it. So really, it seems like you want to just save up as much money as possible before you, um, you go and do this stuff. So let me go back and sell and uh boom 66 mil let's buy another magnet we got here uh we'll buy this 60 mil fire magnet just think this is where i was at yeah this is kind of where i was at before so we are um pretty much where i was before the rebirth and it's all thanks to the pets so like i said Make sure the first thing that you do is put all of your money into better pets and you also want to put money into your gear. The chickens are not worth it in the end. When you get to the point where you're what you're like what I'm doing, where you're just running around making stuff, just making uh, money hand over fist, you will not need those stupid chickens. They're not even very good beforehand. They're really just a money sink. Um, 
you can get them to where they are making millions and millions of dollars and millions of coins but they're really only good if you do not plan on ever running around and collecting coins again but to be honest I fill up these backpacks so quickly it really just takes a minute or two to, to fill up the backpack especially if you can make yourself have a pretty good run so as you can see I'm almost full but if you fill up a backpack really quickly you will not need those chickens so with that being said thank you for watching I've been BubbaTV24, and be sure to like, share, and subscribe this video. I will see you all next time, and I am signing out. Goodbye.